Hi, everybody. So this is going to be a walkthrough of the learning app for the students and parents to log into. Okay, so the Teacher Zone has three apps for teachers, admins, and for the students. So the red one on the left, you get that in the App Store or Google Play, and you're on your way. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And we're going to log in as a student. Sign in. There is your handy dandy app with Teacher Zone. We're going to go through a couple of things here. First of all, you've got chat and notifications at the top. If I select messages, it'll show any recent notifications I have. For instance, there's some dialogue going on with a project at school there in a group text. Plus, I also have my individual teacher here and so on and so forth. And by the way, parents have read only of all those chats as well through their login or they can just log into their child's account. So super easy there. All your contacts are over there and there's push notifications and such so that chats are, uh, you know when they're there. Okay, so there's that. N then we have the dashboard. So you'll notice that this week there's been 48 minutes of practice, all time, this is a demo account so he only has 15 hours. And, um, but when we come down here, you're gonna see his upcoming lesson. And you're gonna notice on the far right in the middle, a green little camera icon. When you select that, it drops you directly into your teacher's virtual meeting, right in, so that you don't need meeting links anymore, okay? You can also check into that lesson as well. Uh, once the school has set the appropriate time, you can even check in. And then as we scroll down, there's the leaderboards for the whole school. It's kind of the gamification part of this app. And if your kiddos want to see who's been the best for the last week, you can come in and do a date range and then hit apply and it will resort the students. And you can even go into each student and see their badges and show the details on how, what kind of badges they have and what kind of work they've been putting in, how often they've been logging in, etc. It's very cool and they can kind of get that sense of community at the school. Um, number two, you've got the practice timer. If you look down on the bottom, select timer. And oh, look at this, Raylan is practicing now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop. Congratulations, you practiced eight minutes and 51 seconds today, hit okay. And it will log that for today. And um, you'll notice the little blue line ticks up on the bottom right. And the teacher's red line is what they assigned for the student to meet each day. So this teacher assigned 20 minutes for this week's practice. So it's very cool. All of that is attached to the badges as well. So they will accrue automated badges based on practice time set by the school. Very fun. So now we'll go back to the dashboard again so we can know where we are. And we're gonna go now to assignments on the bottom. So once I select assignments, there's two things happening here. First of all, super easy. Go to the very most recent one, select it at the top, and it's gonna open his most recent assignment, okay? And as that loads, because it's got some content to load, you're gonna notice a video will play if there's been a video assigned. Hi. But you're Welcome also going to notice that there's a playlist of, of other things. In this video, so we're going to teach you how to use anything YouTube. the teacher decides to attach, even if they don't attach videos, you can still go in and see your lesson plan. Next Here's on the his list lesson is plan. Scales, right? Minimize so that. Scales, Parents have access to that many, as well. Many, many. Pause that. Um, also, there is a slow downer. You can slow down the videos to see, uh, and it has pitch correction, so that helps as well. Um, but everything you need in a practice assignment is here, even if there's attachments such as that. Oh, there's my daughter, Zella. Anyways, uh, the teacher can attach any sort of files, MP3s, jam tracks, audio files, videos, et cetera, at the bottom. Okay, uh, so that is how you access your practice and parents can access that to see what was assigned as well. So we're going to come back out of assignments and you'll notice at the top on the library, if you slide over to the library, students can upload any finished challenge videos. So if they're done with their homework for the week and they've got everything down, they can upload anything no matter what it is, and the teachers can review it the next time they see them. Some kids use this a lot, some kids it's not what they do. It really is case by case, but it's there for you. Um, so now I'm gonna go all the way back down to the bottom and we're gonna click on schedule. Schedule's very convenient. Not only can you see what is coming, uh, completely out into the future, you can check in as well, or most importantly, you don't have to call in to the school to cancel. If I go over here and just hit cancel, 
it will let me hit cancel. Are you sure you want to cancel? Yes. Reason. Sick. Okay. Perfect. Everybody's been notified. The administration, the teacher, and you even get a notification as well. As you can see up at the top there, that came in. Uh, so the teachers have an app too, and they immediately know what's happening. You can also restore banked lessons if your school um, has that activated. So any lessons owed, you can restore into open times. This particular student doesn't have any, but they pop up there and you select a time and pop them in. Very, very convenient. You'll know what's coming up. You can cancel on the fly and not have to inundate yourself with a phone call to try to get a hold of somebody. So that is this teacher app, or excuse me, the student app in a nutshell. However, there's one more thing I want you to look at, the sandwich menu on the top right. So parents are going to like this too. So first of all, profile information, you can change your picture here and, and whatever you need to do. You can also ch change any sort of payment method that you want, okay? Super easy. If a card got fraud, come on in here, switch it out, it's done. And you've also got payment reports. You can see how many uh, tuitions were paid in the past few months, etc. And you can even read your contract that you signed to make sure you understand how the policies work at the school. So there's notification settings, you can change your password, etc. So that is the student app. Really quick run through. Again, if you have any questions, email questions at teacherzone.com or get with your school and the administration will help you.